entrepreneur and the author of Dream Alchemy, Jane Teresa Anderson with me here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Ingrid, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Cool. So I had a really weird and funky dream last night. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share it. It's a little embarrassing. Oh. Okay, so um, it started off and I met this woman and she had these little cute kittens and she put them in this container and they were all alive and well and really cute and I was quite enamored by them. Mm -hmm. And then they ended up becoming part of like a stew <laughs> and they became like this curry with all this sauce. This is so weird. And then I was desperately trying to find a um, tray that would keep them all so that the, the tray that was holding them mm -hmm. kept uh, melting almost because it was a paper tray and this sauce kept like, <laughs> it's so weird, I know, I kept, and so I kept like losing all of the, the food and yeah. um, I met, ran into a friend of mine who's a celebrity chef and we started talking about trying to get this tray and keeping all the food together and it was just really So obviously in the dream, on. it wasn't like yuck, who, who cooked these, in the dream it was all normal and Yeah, I actually ate some of it. And how did it taste? Really good. <laughs> It's really interesting, you know, You know, when you tell a dream like that to someone, like all those people out there going, oh God, that's awful. Um, when you're in the dream, the response or how you feel about it is often completely different to when you wake up and look at it, you know. And that's because the dream is symbolic. It's not actually about cooking cats, as of course you know. So you really have to take a deep breath and go, okay, this was something I actually felt relatively comfortable with in the dream. In fact, your only feeling in the dream was, oh, I actually want this to be better. Like, I want the, the tray to be more solid. I want to keep the sauce in. I want yeah. this to be really good. I want it to be like celebrity chef gourmet level, not just any old cat. How many cats? <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> not just any old cat. Any old cat. Okay. <laughs> and what colour were the cats? Uh, they were like a darker grey colour. Okay. Um, and if, if you sort of took those cats in general, before they were cooked, while they were still alive, what kind of personality have they got? Oh, they're like, oh, cute. cute. They're gorgeous. I was like, sort of like in, enamored and lo in love with in these love cats. With them. Okay. And um, if, if a cat has a survival instinct, what would it be? There, kitty kitty, off you go. It's quite What's proud this? and mm. independent, strong. Okay, um, lovely. Yeah, graceful. And graceful. Because animals often come up in our dreams when we've got survival issues. And these can come when we're actually literally looking at, um, oh, you know, where's my money come from? Where's my job coming from? But they also come up when we're going through change. So if you're going mm. through change, like you're presenting yourself to the world in a whole new way, or you're opening a new business, starting a new relationship, yeah. any change that you bring into your life, yeah. it kicks in your survival instinct. <gasps> God, I've got to go out of comfort zone. I've got to make changes. Oh, what? Yeah, right. So definitely. part of your survival instinct is cat. And as you described it, it's independent, can do it myself. Mm -hmm. um, it's enamored, it's I go, go for what I feel impassioned about. Yes. Um, and all the other things you mentioned. Now, cooking the cats is like when you cook something to make it more nourishing, you cook something to fill And it was a people. really nourishing meal. And it was, yeah. It was, yeah. it really, really was. And curry, is curry a particular Yeah, I loved it. Well? I actually ate it last night. Like the night before, okay. And you went, mm. Mm, this just tastes like curried cat. No, <laughs> <laughs> Curry is an it exotic. Was so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> and it, t it turns into kind of grain. So, no, but curry is exotic. Mm -hmm. So it's like exotic, passionate, um, independent. These are some of the things that you're looking perhaps to um, kick into your life. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at how to present this because it's not just cooking it up into something to nurture people and yourself. It's how do you present it as well. Celebrity chef tray. And it's like the, pr the base of the presentation is a bit flimsy. Okay. Right. So it's about something oh, in your life. Right, the dream is always refers to the day or two before okay because it's about how you process your experiences of the day or two before so as you've got this absolutely wonderful exotic independent fantastic passionate thing to put out into the world and it's got something to do with three so it may be three things that you're combining or it may be going for three years three months three days something like that yes and the whole question as a dream is yes but i, I just want to get the base better and you ask a celebrity chef in the dream because it's like, I want someone up there who's really, really great at this stuff, who's real profound. celebrity, to perform my basis. Does that yeah, relate? Yeah, completely, completely. Mm. And I think sometimes my eyes or my desires are bigger than what sometimes I'm ready for. And having a foundation is absolutely imperative. And so I've actually been really working on that uh, the last year or two or three, really, to solidify mm. both my health and my personal life and my business life. So, and I do want a celebrity to be part of a new project of mine. Yeah. So that is just absolutely. Perfect. So what are the key benefits that being able to interpret our dreams give us? Okay. 
you can go through life, I mean everybody dreams, just yeah. a lot of people don't remember them, and you can go through life relatively happily without interpreting your dreams, you can go through life and have other modalities to discover about mm -hmm. your inner self, but if you do look at your dreams, it's one of the quickest gateways to finding out about yourself. I think it's absolutely amazing, because mm. when I f the way I found you was that I'd had a really full on dream, and I just was like, I need to understand what is going on within me yeah. and the insight that you gave me and even just right now without sounding really so you know focusing so much attention i suppose on myself but for other people out there if you're mm. questioning you know what's going on internally for you i just find it such a quick way to really look at the core issue it is that's right because the dream is reflecting your um, unconscious beliefs so mm. your unconscious program so you can look into the dream there and say oh look you know this is how your mindset is this is how you're processing life so if there are things in waking life that don't feel quite right um, all you need to do is uncover the unconscious belief and change it which is what I do with dream alchemy yes. and all as well and with your case it's like really opening your eyes and saying yeah that is what I've been doing I've been building this stronger base and I can see at the moment that unconsciously I still feel like it's paper that I'm losing some of the source yeah which well, actually is really in a way affirming for me <laughs> yes because yeah I'm losing some of the source so maybe sometimes I want to rush to get it completed rather than learning to hold on to it and contain that source or contain all the nourishing yes. stuff rather than I'm kind of like yeah rushing and maybe letting it spill you know where you walk exactly. really fast and everything just falls out and so I've been doing that so would that be then a message to also say to myself slow down it's a message it's the dream shows you how things are and mm. you can take from that you can either take from that well I need to slow down and keep the source in or you can take from that I've got a fear that going too fast I'm gonna lose the source so then when we sit down and work like an hour, so I hadn't heard that dream before, we did that in a couple of minutes. If yes. I was sitting with you working for an hour, yes. we'd explore around the dream and we'd find out what your unconscious programming is that makes you feel mm -hmm. about, you know, oh, I'm not sure if I go too fast or am I going too slow. We'd work all that out. You know, so that's the kind of deep beauty of it. And then I would give you a dream alchemy practice. So a dream alchemy practice is where once you've explored the dream and you relate to it. And did you see how lovely that was? As soon as you got the metaphor of the dream, as yeah. soon as you could see that metaphor, you, can then, you then started to talk to me in terms of the metaphor. Oh, the source, and maybe I want to contain the it's, source. Yeah. And that's how it works. So with dream alchemy, you go, okay, if you decide, no, I'm not going to slow down. Um, I've got a really good tray. I've worked hard on creating the space. I've got all the source there. All you do is visualise while you're awake, carrying your lovely kitten curry. Yes. <laughs> in, a, in, a, <laughs> in a much sturdier it became tray. It beautiful lamb or chicken or something yeah. like that. You, you can make it into something more, yeah, make it. I'm not into eating kitties. Yeah, yeah you can create it as vegetarian and create it so that you've got sauce in it as well and you're carrying it and you feel really good and have your feet on the floor in the visualisation so you're really feeling strong, firm. I can take all the time in the world that I wish. And, and if I want to go fast, I can do that too because, hey, this is firm, I'm not spilling any sauce. That's dream alchemy. And what would then happen is that as you went through making decisions in your life, you would find that they were easier for you to do. They, they wouldn't be coming from a place of fear about losing the sauce. Oh, that's fascinating. Wow. Thank you so much. I could just talk to you forever. <laughs> but um, I'm going to wrap up now. Once again, it's Jane Teresa Anderson. Her website is dream dot net dot au they got it right right yes <laughs> and her book is dream alchemy uh jane Teresa does amazing sessions so i really encourage you to check her website out and she also has lots of free wonderful information um, at her website so you've been watching ingrid arna at body love and i hope you've enjoyed our wonderful dream video thanks imagine all the girls I, I, I.